Today, you must tattoo people who were once featured in freak shows. Identical twins. Sweet. Twins are perfect mirror images of each other. So, of course, their tattoos should also be perfect mirror images. This flash challenge, you'll be working in teams of three. What? Tattooing is not a team sport. And that means that somebody else's decisions can have a negative effect on me. I don't like that. One artist must design the tattoo. The other two artists must each tattoo that design on one of the twins. The tattoos must match perfectly, from placement to line weight to shading, all showing consistency. How do you match your tattoo to someone else who has a completely different style? This could be really hard. Let's meet your canvases. That's right. There is only one set of twins. Oh my god. There's only one set of twins? Five artists will tattoo each twin at the same time. Having five people working on the same person, it's gonna be a friggin' mess. This is gonna be a total cluster. People are gonna be bouncing into each other, and I hope that she can hang. That's a lot of tattooing going on. I don't even have to ask. You guys probably want to tattoo the pretty girls, right? I'm not against it, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking an owl. That's perfect. I know what you're gonna say. I'm prepared to do whatever you want me to do. I'll say that me and you are tattooing. Cool. Sausage has to get past the fact that he doesn't want me on his team. Draw the rows again. Really nice clean lines, and you're still missing this line here. I mean, come on, it's rows. I wish I could draw. This is good. Yeah, but well, you can make that traditional very easily. Make sure you keep the elements of like the, the integrity, like the wing too. You know what I mean? Keith starts stepping over everything. Oh, you know, you know, I do a lot of traditional. Bam. <clears throat> you alright, dude? Yeah, no, I'm just everything I said. You had a better idea, so it's on you, dude. Dude, look how stressed it is right now. I feel like we got a real strong team. Kyle and I have worked together. We know how each other work. So Ruck's going to design. Kyle and I are going to do the tattoo. I feel bad, but not really. No, we don't feel bad at all. <laughs> 90 minutes left, everybody. Ready, girl? Yes. How much crazier can you get? You can run into all kinds of problems having five people working on one person at the same time. Whoa, whoa, holy all right, guys. God damn. All right, I wiped the out of my tattoos, man. <laughs> Somebody's wiping right while you're trying to run a line. Pulling her arm down. Sorry, bro. Wipe. This is going to be rough. Oh, wow, my god. Tattoo gangbang. Want to take a quick look, Jim? Just finish your tattoo, dude, so I can look at it without your hands in the way every five seconds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He doesn't have any black shading out there, man. Oh, mother Scott's taking off doing his own thing. Right, that black strip, I took that out, dude. There's no consistency between our tattoos. 45 minutes left, everybody. My back's starting to kill me this girl's arm, it's not up and flat. So I'm like all tweaked over, upside down. About a year ago, I was ran over on my motorcycle and I fractured my back. Because of the way I have to sit, I'm starting to feel some gnarly pains in my back. 30 minutes remain. Keep the saying, straight yellow for the beach. Straight yellow for the beach? Yeah. Is that cool? That's not what we agreed on. Keith scraps the game plan completely. What else you got, bitch? He has his head firmly implanted up his ass. Now I'm pissed off. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down, time's up. No mas. Jay's extremely mad at me. I think he should just be more focused on winning the challenge and, and take his little ego pride and bury it somewhere else. David, Randy, Maddie. Randy, this is a much better looking design than the designs we've seen out of you. Overall, I would say it was very believable that both these tattoos were done by the same person. There is some inconsistencies on the chin. One chin is messed up in one direction and the other chin is messed up in the other direction. But all said and done, very good job. Thank you. Team number two, Keith, Jay, Lydia. Lydia, very nice drawing you put together. Thank you. 
color palette is very different. Keith, your tattoo doesn't look as rich and saturated as Jay's does. I definitely disagree when you say it's not saturated. It's just the tone that I use is a lighter brown. You can disagree all you want, man. And y'all miss the boat. Oliver doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. My tattoo blows Jay's tattoo out of the water. Team number three, Baba, Sausage, and Roland. I really like this design. It's very simple, very cute. The size, very smart choice. Your color palettes are matching. They're equally solid, equally saturated. The black shading is the only part where you can see some inconsistencies. But overall, very nicely done. Awesome. Team number four, Kyle, Halo, King Ruck. Halo, we know you finished this a lot quicker. And when I look at the outline, I can tell. Kyle's outline is a lot cleaner. He took his time, and it shows. And there's also one little spot in the middle of the forehead that Kyle didn't color yellow, that Halo did color yellow. <sighs> and it's subtle inconsistencies that just take y'all down a little notch. Team number five, Jim, Melissa, Scott. One thing that immediately jumps out to me one looks more vibrant than the other. Scott, because you have so much black in there, black makes the color jump out. I'm a real soft tattooer. I don't bring it real hard. Your tattoo looks softer, but Scott's tattoo being heavier and bolder doesn't look chewed up, it doesn't look overworked, but they do look different. Scott me on this one. If he hadn't kept adding more dark tones, we could have got some time to shine. The judges have decided that the winner of today's flash challenge is... Team number three, yeah. Roland, Sausage, and Bubba. Yeah. Winning's everything to me. You know, at this point, I feel vindicated. <laughs> Today, you must tattoo the ultimate test of precision. A portrait. A portrait is one of the easiest tattoos to screw up. One drop of ink in the wrong place will make your portrait unrecognizable. If you alter the appearance of somebody's face in a tattoo, you just made it into somebody else. Today, once again, the canvases are in pairs. Every canvas wants the same portrait as one other canvas. Wow. Giving a side-by-side -side comparison like never before. What? Go big or go home. That means you'll all be going head to head with one other artist, and the judges will directly compare your work in critique. One of you will win, and one of you will lose. Can't lose. This is the ultimate head to head, straight up. And I am if I don't get this right. There is one more thing. Your canvases have brought the subject of their portrait along with them. That's this is crazy. Let's do this, man. Let's get this going. Today, these artists really have to show precision because they have to really showcase the subtle details that make that person come alive to their friends and family. I think that's going to be the great. Yeah. It's much tougher to go head to head doing the exact same photo because the weaknesses are completely obvious. You okay, ready? I'm sweating bullets right now. Portraits are not my thing. I'm going up against Eric, and there's no margin for error. You chose to put yourself up with Eric. Why'd you make that choice? I figured it'd be a good push. It'd really be a really great challenge. My strategy on this portrait is to use all the precision I can in the eyes, the nose, and the mouth and make it look exactly like his mother. I'm not scared. I'm gonna make sure I go beyond to get this win. Oh, wow. I love it. Right? It's yeah. Bigger. That's awesome. Cool. There's no chance in hell that Mark's gonna beat me today on this portrait challenge. I'm always pushing the limits. I'm always trying to be innovative. Oh yeah, some flowers? Yeah, some stuff just to finish it off nicely. It's gonna look cool. Smells looking good. If I beat Eric, the judges are definitely gonna have to take notice. My whole strategy right now is to go big or go home. Four hours remaining. I can't even remember the last time I did a portrait. Even though I don't do portraits on a daily basis, I know I'm gonna beat Jason. I've worked my ass off to be where I'm at. I am straight edge. I stay at home and I draw so that I can go in, kill it every time. I came to just do my best. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, the ribs are no joke. I'm here for redemption and I have got to be clean. You're a warrior, dude. 
I have my work cut out for me, and I have so much on the line right here. I got kicked off in the portrait challenge on season three, and I'm not getting kicked off again. Ah. One more hour remaining. Oh, 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 oh. You can do it. I do color portraits, not black and gray. I'm really trying to take my time here. One mistake, this portrait is done. Any little slip up, you're not gonna recognize the person. Do you wait to do like some of the heavy, heavy darks? I don't know, I guess I guess it depends on the portraits really, I mean, I don't know. Chris's tattoo looks very sloppy. If he doesn't go back in and smooth that out, that could be the kiss of death. This is one of the scariest, most intimidating challenges of the entire competition. And this is the one that I've been ready for since day one. Stay with me. We're almost the end, okay? I'm ready to watch everybody else fall down and me to rise. This may be one of my best wins. This is what's gonna put us in a winner's circle, okay? Mark, let's start with you. You went up against Eric. Out of everything I've seen you do, this is the most precision I've seen you execute. Really nice details in the mouth. The really light shades and the little highlights that you did and the wrinkles of the lips really make the tattoo look beautiful. And this is a big comeback for you. Soak it in and keep trying to ride the wave. Eric. The attention to detail on the eyes is nice. The eyes are the most important part of the entire face. But there's certain things that are changed, like the nose, you can actually see the other side of the nostril, and in the photograph, you can't. So it almost tilts the face in one aspect, but then everything else is the same. That's how it was in the photograph when I bumped up the contrasts. You altered details, which changed the shape of this lady's face. That bottom lip is a completely different shape than what it is in the photo. As far as precision goes, you missed a mark on that. All right, guys, between Mark and Eric, who wins the head-to-head -head competition? Mark captured the likeness. It looks like her. The proportions are totally correct. Final answer. Mark. 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 Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Mark. Clean. You went head-to-head -head with Jason. You killed it on the details and the hat and the jacket and the emblems. The little highlights on the US symbols on his lapel is just great. For precision challenge, I think you nailed it. You even added a highlight to the tie. That isn't shown in the photo, which I really like because there's certain things you can make better in a portrait and you did that. You excelled. It was just done nicely and sharp and meticulously. That's what wins this competition. Jason. You did do some nice details in the jacket, but for the precision challenge, you missed a couple of key shapes in the face. The mouth in the portrait kind of has a shape like yours does right now. That pissed off shape? Yeah, it has that little curl to it. And yours is pretty straight, and it really changes the expression in the face. If you look in the photo, the contrast between how dark the hat is and how dark his skin is, is drastically different. Really dark in the face and missing the shape of his mouth is what takes it away from looking like this guy. Thanks, guys. Who wins the head-to-head -head competition between Clean and Jason? There's no mistaking the difference in the quality of how smooth and how nice Clean's is. Final decision. Clean. My pick is Clean. 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 The winner of the head-to-head -head competition is Clean. Congratulations. Thank you. Chris, you went head-to-head -head with Aaron. My big problem with this tattoo is you made up a bunch of highlights that don't exist in the photo. On her neck, underneath her chin, you just made up a complete white highlight that doesn't exist. It really does change the shape of this girl's face a lot. And then you really went graphic with it. You exaggerated the lines in her creases in her mouth. In the photo, she looks real soft and round, and you put a lot of hard edges on her. Aaron. I think the first thing that I notice on this is that droopy eye. On the right, it sags a little bit. I think that throws things completely off. Another place that the precision is not there is in that mouth. Those lips are not her lips. And then the really dark you did in the gums, it makes it almost look like she's missing teeth. Translation from the photo to the skin is where the precision has to be 100%. And a portrait is very unforgiving. Portrait King just got the crown. All right, guys, so who wins the head-to-head -head competition between Chris and Aaron? This is kind of a tough one for me. 
Chris, I think that yours is actually over precise. The hard lines kind of take away from any softness that a portrait might have. Aaron's looks more like a little girl to me. I literally find enough things in both that are bad that I don't have a clear winner or a clear loser. Just judge each section. Just judge the mouth. Chris got it. Chris got it. Now just judge the eyes. Debatable. Just judge the hair now. Aaron. Aaron got it. Just judge the chin. Chris got it. Chris got it. Now just judge the cheeks. Aaron got Aaron. it. Guys, I'm out. I'm not picking a winner. Flip a coin. We don't flip coins on this Okay, thing. no, I'm just saying, man. The fairest thing that I can say to both of you is that I don't see either one being a landslide to the plus or the minus. I agree with that. No winner. For this head-to-head -head challenge, there is no winner. Chris, Aaron, and Eric, your spot in this competition is at risk. Final decision. My vote is for Chris to go. I'm gonna say Aaron. 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 The judges have decided. Aaron, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master choices were just off. And if you would have hit one or two choices right, this would not be this decision. Please pack your machines and close shop. For today's Flash Challenge, you must tattoo some of the most fragile skin on the body. The ear. Tattooing the ear is the hardest only because it's nowhere near a flat surface. You're in like a lump, a bump, a curve. It's ridiculous, ain't nothing straight. But that is not all. You and your teammate must create matching micro tattoos on two separate canvases. Uh, okay. You guys will all do your own tattoos. You have nobody to lean on but yourself. The key word in this challenge is matching tattoos. This is a great way to see everybody's skill. If you have a weak link in your team, they will drag the other one down. You are a little more familiar with traditional stuff. Just kind of take the lead. If somebody has more experience, we're going to follow that and just go with the best idea. What do you think about that? I like it. I think that if you do the three-quarter view, that you should have a three-quarter view jaw. I must say, I'm digging the teamwork, huh? <laughs> we're trying. It's all about teamwork. Yeah. Did she show you the sketch? No, we haven't okay. seen anything. I'm right, like, what cool. are they sketching? So I, we had to simplify it a little bit to shrink down to this size. My canvas, she's the one with all these stipulations. I wonder if you should make it a little bit smaller. If we go smaller, I'm going to probably lean towards making it solid black. We want to keep it subtle, so if you have a big black thing in the back. She's calling the shots at this point. She's making our job a lot harder. I don't, I don't want it solid black. Okay. Yeah, it's just like the smaller, the less detail you can get. See how it fits on that ear. Okay. So ideally, we want to get it on the flat surface. We deserve to win Master Shot because as a team, we know what we got to do for our team to get things done. I'm going to tattoo first, and then D, he'll tattoo second, just to make sure at the end of the day, our tattoos match up seamlessly. You see the top loop? Yeah, see that one? Yeah. Now follow the yeah. bottom loop. Bottom loop, yeah. Those middle lines are basic. Leave them like that. Nah. Just go over those. They're too thin. Pretty hard to put my ego aside in a lot of things, but next to DJ, it's not hard at all. You can go way deeper, dude. Don't be afraid. Dude, I'm, I'm getting it. This is absolutely not the time to set myself apart from my teammate. We're trying to look identical. The little tentacles, then, and it meets the other one? Oh, no, dude. Oh. I'm, just, I'm getting this part because it's oh. been bugging me. You know what me. I'm talking about? Yeah. OK. I honestly don't know if Bubba's even here at all. I know that DJ is definitely pulling the strings in this relationship. Maybe before you're done, we both look at them next to each other and, and discuss a little here, this, and that. I don't think we should add anything else. OK. We really need to win this challenge, because they're testing us. I'd be damned if I come back and not have the technical ability to win this. Still, before you're completely done, we should check it out. We can't make tattoos that look the same if we're not communicating. For some reason, I thought these were going to be really painful. This will be the time for me to separate myself from my teammate. Did you call me, Bang? Yeah, did you want to take a look at this while she's standing? Aren't we supposed to have matching ear tattoos? I shade of mine a little darker than yours. It's almost like we're competing with each other at this point. Five, four, three, two, 
one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Try City's tattoo. You guys definitely look like two different people did it. Bang, you have some blowouts towards the bottom, which is probably why it got heavier, because you were cleaning up a little. Dave, yours was a lot cleaner. Crisp outline and the shape of the key was very straight. They look like they're competing against each other, not working with each other. Classic trilogy tattoo. There's seven lines in there? Six lines. We just counted seven. seven. Typically, there's five. OK. To give yourself more lines than what there should be makes it even harder to do in a tiny little bit of the ear. You guys made some weird decisions. I don't love this one. Pins and needles. You did a good job making them look like the same person did it. I like the fact that every line looks deliberate. You guys seem to hit everything directly, one shot, one pass. Artistic skin design. Technical application is very clean on these, but the designs look different from one ear to the next. You guys have been crushing it, but I think this one, you overworked yourselves. Think before you ink. There's more of a consistent hand on riches throughout the entire outline. Detat, you hit a major bump in the glass. And they're minimal amount of work, which means every bit of it has to be perfect. I did a good job in this piece, but as a team, we're getting a back critique. This sucks. Old Town Ink. It's very tight, clean, crisp, very small line details, and they both look like they have great technical application. Similar design, looks like the same artist did it. That's what we're looking for. Killer. Next team up is Allegory Art. Technical application of both of these is on par with each other. My only nitpicky thing about it is the anatomy. There's no forehead, and then the jaw is huge. But I do think it is a bold tattoo. Unkindness art. You had a tougher road with the actual shape of the ears being so different. Yeah, it just wraps differently because of her anatomy. But overall, the technical application in both the ears is on par with each other. Solid teamwork. Thank you. Thank you. House of Monkey. This was a really tough challenge trying to put a dragon going up the ear, but the difference between the two is pretty obvious. Picasso's yours has a little bit lighter, a little scratchier look, and Lalo's yours looks a little more punched in. You guys are hell closest to the fire on this. Show up, or you're going to be right back out. We arguably had the hardest challenge of the day. I don't think it looks scratchy at all. Some bull The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Old Town Inc. Yes. I'm here to win. I don't give a shit. I'll let DJ take the spotlight. I'm here to prove just how much I've grown, how much I've learned, how much I can Mr. actually. Mr. Underestimator, right here. Congratulations, DJ and Bubba. Thank you guys Thank so you much. Thank you very much. You will all be judged on precision. And I'll bet you can see where this is going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just say it. There's no better test of precision than a portrait. Yep. I don't specialize in portraits, but I've done quite a few since season seven. The pressure's on you, because if you send us home, I'm gonna be pissed. We're seeing the job, baby. We're seeing the job. A facial feature, even a millimeter off, could change the appearance of your portrait entirely. For this elimination tattoo, you and your teammate must tattoo matching portraits on different canvases. Of course. That's crazy. Two days before we came here, Doom let me in on a little secret, which was that he has never done a portrait before. This might be the day we go home. Every portrait's difficult in its own way. Everybody's skin's different. Being that you have to do the same portrait on two different people, that's super hard. The key with this, I think, is communication. Get a game plan in your mind. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna do it? You guys got your work cut out for you. Your time starts now. All right. Yes. When you go get a portrait, you don't want it to almost look like the person. Almost don't count. I think I should go a little bit smaller than this and a little bit bigger than that. It's very important that they stay precise to the photo as well as to each other. This is tough. You don't know if your partner's going to go off on a tangent and do something crazy. Are you super ready? Let's do this, Aiko. Can you check what I'm doing to make mm -hmm. sure that we're on the same page? Yeah. I am at Eva's mercy on this one. I'm definitely not the best portrait tattooer. So this is the gap where it's like where this is. Yeah. There's one lower and one higher. Mm -hmm. So and this they kind is... of wrap around. Yep, you got it. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah, that looks right to me. I know that she knows what she's doing, so I'm just gonna try to do the same. It's a trust game at this point. Uh, your skin gets really red really easy. Oh, yeah, that's, that's about true. It. Yeah, that always yeah. happens. Yeah. Oh, my God. Her skin is lighting up like a damn Christmas tree. Let me see how's it going, bro. You know, just making sure, because it's, like, getting really irritated, so I have to be, like, super gentle. I have to do a super subtle, soft baby portrait, and I can't tell how dark the ink is? I am so screwed. Oh, no. 
You have four more hours remaining. What do you got for in this section? Is that a one and then this is a, a skin tone or is that? Most likely, I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay. I'm a little worried about Tom because it has been so long since he's done a portrait. I'm gonna say that's a skin tone. Yeah, that's a skin tone. All right, I'm sorry, that's a one. I just hope that he can rely on my strengths to help guide him through it because you can't wander on a portrait. You have to do exactly what's in front of you. What up? Thanks for the mini pick. Over here trying to give us the bad skull, and then we, uh, what's up? Step to the stage, homie. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it worked. Because I got the skills to pay the bills, yeah. man. You know what? We're just going to have to bite the bullet, and I'm about to pull out every trick I got in my bag to take this little tiny photo and make a great portrait. How are we going to judge this? We may have some clear bottoms, which might save us a lot of hard work. Allegory Arts, they're just using color photos thrown off to the side on a black and gray portrait. That's crazy, and they're backed to each other. She's not even looking at the photo, she's just tapping. Artistic skin design, did you notice the skin differences? Canvas is everything, man. You got an older woman, a young lady, their skins react different. One just, you put gray in and it's gray. The other one, you put the same gray and it don't look like nothing. It's yeah, just it's red. beat red. Unkindness Art. Her portrait. It's phenomenal. It's the one. But if he doesn't step it up to her level, yeah, they can lose. What's up, Dan? God, you guys are flying. Holy crap. It is overly apparent that Doom has never done a portrait in his life. You know you're going to do it in this competition. Instead, you come in here and scratch something out on that dude's arm. That's ridiculous. Final hour. One hour to go. Oh, I just really need you to relax your shoulders. The more tense you are, the worse it's going to be for both of us. So. My canvas is like tattooing a crying, squealing, mechanical bull. This is like 30 seconds work. Then we're turning into 10 minutes right now. If she does not just sit still and let me do my job, we might not finish at all. I can hear Aaron's canvas moaning from across the shop. Dane's tattoo turns red every time he touches the lady. I'm over here like a fish out of water. I don't know how Black Cobra figured out how to get us all at one time, but they definitely have. The Alliance is in trouble. Golden Skull tattoo, you're up first. Clean. Did you practice before you came? Yes. I definitely want to tip my hat to you, man. You did a great portrait here. The eyes and the mouth, you hit them perfectly, especially that little turned up corner of the lip on the right side is what really captures her look. Aaron, I like the way you did the black in the hair. Your hair maybe is a little bit better than Clean's, but as far as the application on the face and everything, Clean might have made it a little more smooth. Y'all did a great job taking the exact same approach on the tattoo. I mean, you really try to mimic each other's stencil to the T. There's a lot of precision in this tattoo. Allegory Arts. You very clearly missed the mark on details in the photo. Y'all had the same approach for this nose, but that is not a human nose. It has a very feline look to it. Euless, the tattoo doesn't look like this little girl. The eyes, they're just different shapes. Well, Eva, I think you did get in there with a lot more precise detail on the hair. And overall, the technique and the shading is smoother, but you still distort the shape of her face. The shading you put above her left eye, you create these indentions and protrusions that just aren't there. On a precision day, you need to pay exact attention. Nailed it. The coffin, yeah. Basilica tattoo. Judging these tattoos individually, they both look like the photo. They both capture the girl. But we're definitely looking at completely different images here. Nolan, in the photo, she has a certain look in her face that's like she's gentle. And yours, she looks like she's mad and aggressive. There's some precision, obviously, in these tattoos. The only thing is, you want to make them look the same. Big picture, they both got decent tattoos, but I don't know if decent tattoos are going to win the competition. Empire State Studio. Looking at these, if I looked really quick, I would think it was the same tattoo. Tommy did a little bit better in the hairline, did a little bit better in the hair. But as far as the overall softness of the face, Marvin, I think you really kill it. This is precision day, so we're being precise on our critiques. You guys definitely hit the mark. Unkindness art. 
the divide is monstrous between these two tattoos. Well, Aaron, technically very smooth, very professionally done. Kitten, no sugar coating this tattoo, man. It's beat. The hair is just messy. There's scratchy lines that you can still see through where the black is. And the areas where you're supposed to have soft details, nose, eyes, lips, chin, neck, it's just rough. This is my first portrait. That's part of being an ink master. You gotta be able to do everything. Float as a ship or sink as a ship. Today you're sinking. Classic trilogy tattoo. Let's keep it 100. Your tattoos, they're different, big time. The hair looks different, the eyes look different, the noses, the mouths. Overall, Derek's looks more like the photo. Tom's eyes are doing different things. One's looking up, one's bugging out. You create this real stern lip on that right eye that gives it more of a creature type feature on the outside. Swing and a miss. Old Town Inc. Both of you hit the mark on capturing the kid, but as far as a team, this is another one where there's a definite divide between the two tattoos. Bubba, I think you've progressed a lot as a tattooer, but DJ's tattoo is the HD version of yours. Looks like if you took the other one and you just shined the out of it. DJ, you captured the eyes perfect. The nose is perfect. The mouth here is perfect to me. You keep tattooing like this, bro, the rest of the competition, and you're gonna be able to buy new jeans, a boy shirt, and take classes to tie those shoes. Thanks. Artistic skin design. Usually you look at a portrait and you're drawn to the eyes. I'm drawn to the clothing. On both of them, that sweater and that shirt, I see precision all day. But it just looks like a different artist did the top half. In both of them, the hair is completely different. Dane, you brought the left side down a little further. In April, you brought the right side up a little. They're not consistent or precise with the photo, and certainly not with each other. Black Cobra tattoos. There's precision in terms of being similar in your approach on the tattoo, but they're equally different from the photo. I don't feel like either of you hit the hair in any way. There's a lot of inferred, made up kind of styles, and that changes the dynamic of her face. Also, the shading in the face, it doesn't look soft like skin. It looks like fur. When you look at one tattoo to the next, there is a lot of differences. Judges, time to announce who had the best tattoos of the day. I think that Golden Skull did really great. Yep. For me, I think it's Empire State. Both look like the man, both look like the same tattoo. Can't get past the top of the hair on Marvin's tattoo. I'm leaning towards Golden Skull, but I think they're both I'm Golden Skull. tattoos. That's your call? Final decision? Golden Skull. I'm gonna have to say Golden Skull. My decision is Golden Skull. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to uh, Golden Skull. I didn't see that coming. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. When it's this close, I just got to look at that first glance. And when I first glance at Classic Trilogy, it's like, ah, my vote's for Classic Trilogy. Too much of a mess. Classic Trilogy. I'm just a canvas, and Allegory looks like a weird kid. My vote is for Allegory. I'd rather wear Derek's tattoo than any of Allegory's. But it's a competition, and it's not what I want. It's what the competition wants, so they did them exactly alike. They did them different. I guess I would have to say classic. The judges have decided classic trilogy tattoo. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. You guys tattoo a little different, and I think that's what got you here. Learn from this. Hell yeah. Please pack your machines and move out.